In this video, we'll go over the latest release of Rust, version 1.69.0. Specifically, we'll cover two main features, which are automatically fixing lint errors and compile time improvements. To update to the latest Rust version, simply run Rust Up Update Stable. Before we get started, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet at letsgetrusty.com slash cheat sheet. First, let's talk about automatically fixing lint errors. Linting is the process of analyzing code for potential errors, bugs, or stylistic issues using automated tools. Rust actually comes with two lint tools. Cargo Check runs the built-in lint provided by the Rust compiler. These lints are designed to catch common programming mistakes, such as unused variables, type errors, and borrow checker errors. On the other hand, we have Cargo Clippy, a superset of the default compiler lints. In addition to checking the default compiler lints, it also provides a more advanced set of lints that can help you write more efficient, readable, and maintainable code. In addition, Clippy can be configured by creating a clippy.toml file in your project's root directory. Here's an example of some Rust code. Let's run cargo check. Here you can see that we get one lint warning because we have an unused import. Now let's try running Cargo Clippy. If we scroll up, you can see that we get the unused import lint error just like before, but this time we have an extra lint error. It's telling us that this statement x equals x plus one can be replaced with x plus equals one. The nice thing is some lint warnings can be automatically fixed and that number is constantly growing. To draw attention to this, Cargo will now suggest running Cargo Fix or cargo clippy dash dash fix when it detects warnings that are automatically fixable. In fact, you can see that it says here, run cargo clippy dash dash fix to apply two suggestions. Let's try it out. And as you can see, the code was automatically fixed. Next, let's talk about compile time improvements. As of this release, Cargo now avoids emitting debug information in build scripts by default, which should improve compilation speed. This will have no visible effect when build scripts execute successfully. However, if you want to include debug information to debug a failing script, then you can add this snippet of code to your cargo.toml file. And that's it for this relatively small release. Before you go, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet at letsgetrusty.com slash cheat sheet. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.